First time ever that Super 2 has gone back to back at the same racetrack in back to back weeks. Is that good news for Brock Feeney? As we wave the green flag, look at the aggressive angle from Zach Best. Can he win the race off the start line? No, but Ojeda will. Great start, Jaden Ojeda. This one's alive already. And for the first time all weekend, Brock Feeney is looking at taillights. And not just one tail light, there's three or four of him that got him. So Feeney straight away trying to get back up the inside. Zach Best covers that off. Angelo Mazzura is around the outside. So I thought initially Best outdid Feeney and then Ojeda came from the second row and nailed both of them. Good job. The Triple Eight teammates now battle it out up into turn three. Feeney back up to third. Mazzura drops back to fourth. Matt Charters come forwards from Four. seventh up to fifth. That's a hold your breath moment. Tricky turn four as they sort it out over the Ross Creek. Aaron Seaton just had to get out of the bucket on that one. That was nice and tight. He's fighting in there at the moment with Tyler Erringham, and they're fighting over eight. Back on board with Brock Feeney. It's been the only chink in the armour so far. Only his foot that he's possibly put in the wrong direction. Great to see oh. Zach Best. Who's that, Jack Perkins, I think? It is. And oh, Aaron Mick. Seaton. It was a flash of blue, and he's lost his left front mirror on that car. And Seaton's got damage, runs the car up the escape road at turn seven. And look at the gap now, Ojeda's got. It was 1.1 seconds when they crossed the line the previous lap. It's out to 2.5. Charter up the inside of Missouri's contact, boys. And Missouri's and they both nose it into the wall at turn 11. So Ange Missouri's drama filled Townsville swing continues. Had a tough weekend last weekend. And race one this weekend has not worked out for him at all. Man, this guy can't catch a break. A nice job to recover. And while all this goes on, this battle now, the Charter and Tyler Everingham have joined in on for the second, third, fourth, fifth. Jaden O'Jada's gone, 5.4 seconds up the road. Now Feeney up the inside, Charter's going with him. This is awesome, Matt Charter has the elbows out today. Can best stay on the outside, he'll have the inside for 30. Oh man, he makes him work for it. Chased him all the way to the concrete. Oh, now he contact. gives Feeney a shot in the rear. The future stars are swinging from the fences today. This is awesome. Brock Feeney had it all his own way last week. He's having to work for it this week. They're roughing him up. It's good racing, fair racing, but hard racing. Now Everingham. Oh, Charter, who was on the aggressor a few laps, a few corners ago, loses a spot. He goes to switch back. Gee, the race craft on display today has been fantastic. Everingham covers off Matt Charter just. Matt McLean now, he's joined the party. Oh, there's a drama here. Strong hasn't got going off two. Oh. And big smoke. Oh, uh, is that metal bouncing down the yeah, road? Yeah, there's bits coming oh. out of the bottom of that car that shouldn't be coming out of the bottom of it. Oh. So that's a real shame. No. And that could be an expensive end to a weekend. Gee, watch for debris. If you're Jade No Jada, I hope the fellas have been on the radio to him as we now go to BP Ultimate Safety Car because there's going to be bits and pieces everywhere down there. As soon as race control saw bits coming out of the bottom of that car that shouldn't have been coming out, there was no off, no other option but to go safety car and clean the circuit up. As you saw Aaron Seaton going past, so the safety car now pulls out of pit lane and waits for Jaden Ojeda. And the BP Ultimate Safety Car will pick up our race leader, and that's exactly what Jaden Ojeda didn't want to see. Matt White Motorsport team watching on. A team that manages that car for Jaden Ojeda. It's their man that's in the lead. We'll bring them back to racing. So now we have green flags. That doesn't mean Jaden Ojeda has to go right now. He can go anytime he likes between now and the control line. He gasses it up off turn 13 for the run to the green light flag. We're racing again. Feeney's got a good restart and gone with him. Phoenix trying to clean those tyres up for the run down to turn one. Ojeda defends heavily. You don't want to defend too heavily because now Feeney can open up the entry, turn it back and try the same trick that Zach Best was doing to him earlier from the back of Jaden Ojeda's car because Feeney's car looks a lot more stable up the inside at two. Does he get it stopped? Yes, he does. Does Ojeda pull the trick up the inside? He can't get it done. Feeney to the lead. Made the most of that restart scenario. Worked the back of the young New South Welshman. Gets back to the lead. He's held his nerve here. Can Ojeda get one back quickly? Valentino Rossi style. Oh, he's Still giving him over one. him. Gives him a shot between five and six, and now he's damaged the front of that car. Oh, and wide off six. 
Best is trying to go around the outside. It's tough to get around the outside at seven. Plays it wise. Tries to set up for the run off eight. Ojeda's awake to it. This is a gift for Feeney. Feeney's put his head down. He's gapped him already. Trying too much room. Yeah, trying to keep the overlap. Exactly right, Chad. Too much room. Oh, oh no! It's around. You don't want to oh. be here. This you is going to be big. You do not want to be here. Wham! Multiple cars. Matt McLean involved. Both ends of that car. Punch oh. in. Oh, they're still coming. Serious hold your breath moment there. And we go back to BP Ultimate Safety Car Conditions. Perkins. Big damage to Perkins. Big damage to McLean. Both vehicles to motorsport cars. Heavy damage to the front. John McCorkendale oh, wow. was involved. Look at Declan Fraser's. He's trying to turn that into a convertible. Let's see what happens if we can unpick it. Everingham was up the inside of Best. Charter was there with McLean. And then when Best ended up sideways across the track, I said it at the time, that's not where you want to be because it stacks on. Big, big damage. One in Super 2 right there a few years ago, which included the likes of uh, Andy Jones and Paul Brown. Bam, bang. Oh, Dale Robert and Robotham's in. in there. John McCorkendale's got nowhere to go. Gets it pulled up, actually. He's got no damage, just stuck there. So this other in on board with Zach Best. Let's have a listen. actually cop the worst of that in the end. No, so you, you heard that initial contact with he and Tyler Everingham. We'll get to replay of that here. So Everingham has a look up the inside. Not sure if he's up there enough or not. That's for someone else to decide. But then when Zach Best is sideways across the track here, it's a blind exit. The drivers behind will not know and stacks on and big, big damage to the two Eggleston Motorsport cars. This fire erupted under the bonnet of Jack Perkins car. Eventually got some extinguishers there and got that fire out or under control. Matt McLean, Jack Perkins' teammate, doing what he can to minimise the damage. Matt McLean has picked up the two rookie awards at round one and round two. And race will not resume. Now, it does go back a lap, and I think Brock did lead us to seven to go. So he still gets it. Just. Jade no Jada. He'll be heartbroken off the back of that one. Matt Charter, top three. Get in, Matt. That's awesome. Nice work for him. He was uh, able to avoid the mess down there at turn three. So there's uh, some silver linings amongst all this mess, including Josh Fife, who gets a career best result in fourth. And uh, I imagine yeah, Nash Morris, ninth overall and first in class in Super 3. So well done. And gee, there's one or two big names back in this pack. Championship ramifications there as well for Zach Best.